Today we are checking out some budget body armor from Tactical Scorpion. Let's go. I recently acquired some ultra lightweight level 3 armor from Point Blank Armor and as I was doing my research on uh, which armor, what type and what brand I wanted to buy, I came across this company called Tactical Scorpion making ultra budget friendly armor from level 3, 3A, level 4, soft armor, blah blah blah, tons of different options that they offer. This particular one is a 6x6 level 3A soft body armor for only $29. That includes shipping. For $29 they sent this right to my house. So I said to myself, how in the world is a company making something in the United States for $29 where a lot of their competitors are offering them for $100 or more? So we're going to take these, this plate to the range, put a bunch of rounds through it and see if it holds up as well as they claim it does. Uh, before I do that, let's go through the different ratings for armor and see what this one can support and what the other ones, ones can support. So I found this great chart from AR500.com that I'm going to pull up for you guys and we can take a look. So for example, level two body armor is gonna stop most pistol rounds from a 38, 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 ACP, nine millimeter, and even a 357 Magnum. When you go to a level 3A like the plate I have, that's gonna include, also include 357 SIG and 44 Magnum. Uh, stepping up to level three, you can include 762 by 51 and 762 by 39, both standard ball ammo. Going up from level 3, you have level 3 lightweight. Uh, you can add in uh, 556 or M193. And then when you go up to level 3 plus, that allows you to add in M855 ammo. Now the final one is level 4, and that's going to stop some, some bigger rounds like 30 out 6. Let's head to the range and see how these plates hold up. All right, everyone, we're going to start off with the 22 lr I have a Ruger Mach 4 here. Uh, we're shooting CCI 40 grain bullets going at a little over a thousand feet per second. And this plate should absolutely stop this. As you can see, went in right there, a little deformed, but it stopped it no problem. Let's kick it up a notch. Next up, we have a 38 Special coming out of this Taurus revolver. Let's see how it does. As you can see, we have a hit right here. Did not go through. A little more de deformation, but it did not go through. Once again, let's kick it up a notch. Next up, we have these pretty purple bullets. They are Federal 124 grain Syntec training match ammo. Wow, that's a mouthful. 124 grain, around 1100 feet per second. Let's see if the plate stops it. Again, it should. Wah, 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 it went through. So this 124 grain is definitely moving. I'm gonna look up and see if, uh, if it is supposed to stop this or not, but it did defeat it, it did go through. Time out. After getting home tonight, I did a little research. Uh, 3A soft armor is definitely not built to handle those Syntec polymer type rounds. I guess polymer type rounds are really, really nasty. I know very little about them. I gotta do some research on them, I guess, but they are nasty rounds and they will pretty much go through any 3A soft armor plate is what I'm reading online. I also reached out to Tactical Scorpion to get their opinion and they said the exact same thing. Those polymer synthetic rounds are nasty and those 3A soft armor plates don't stand a chance to against them. On a good note, Tactical Scorpion's customer service is awesome. Finally, I'm about to put some rounds through one of my rifles into this uh, soft armor plate. Like a genius, I forgot all of my AR-15 magazines at home, so I had to make do with what I had. Feel free to make fun of me in the comments. I say let's continue the test anyway. Right here we have some 9mm, 147 grain, jacketed hollow point from Double Tap. Let's see what happens with it. Wow, that went flying. Entry point was right there and it bulged it like crazy. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Maybe if I get out of the way, 
it is bulged really, really bad, but it captured it. it. It held it in there, it didn't go through. You'd be hurting, but uh, you wouldn't be dead. Next up, we have God's Caliber, 45 ACP, coming out of a Springfield 1911. Again, it should stop this. Let's see, let's put one there. I can hear a bunch of rounds rattling around in there. So it went in right there on this one, and it captured it, it did not go through. Last up, just for fun, we have some M193 ball ammo from Federal. It is not supposed to stop this at all. I just wanted to put one, out, one round in just for fun, just to see what happens. Wow, it actually stopped it. Holy cow. Look at that, went in right there. Nothing came out the back. Let's put a few more rounds of 223 through this and see what happens. Number two, stopped it. Number, number three, stopped it again. Hole number four, stopped it, didn't go through. <laughs> What's this, number five, guys? And look, oh wait, finally it defeated it. On the fifth round, it took four rounds of M193 before it penetrated, that's, that's pretty good. I reloaded up four more rounds of this purple Syntec training match ammo from Federal. I wanted to see if the one that went through was just a fluke because it was so far near the edge. Let's put a few more in there and uh, we'll see what happens. Wow, that went way up in the air. <laughs> no, no, definitely didn't stop it. Again, this thing has taken, I don't know, 10 plus rounds. It's not supposed to at this point, but uh, that thing shot like 10, 15 feet in the air. I wish you could have saw it. Uh, let's do the last three for fun. <laughs> yeah, this thing is spent now. I was just having a little fun. I know it wasn't supposed to stop all that, but it was just the rounds were in the magazine. Why not? Let me start off by saying I am extremely impressed how this budget body armor from Tactical Scorpion held up. They are built only to handle about five rounds from a pistol. Um, not only did it take uh, about eight or nine rounds from a pistol, it also took four rounds of M193 from a rifle, and I, well, an AR pistol, and I couldn't believe it stopped those rounds. I'm super, super impressed. I guess the decision you're gonna have to make is are you gonna trust your life to a budget body on like Tactical Scorpion, and that's a decision only you can make. What I can say is I am super impressed that for $29 shipped to my door that this panel stopped as many rounds as it did. It's definitely something I would consider if the budget's a little tight, or if you just wanna grab something quick before uh, they get banned. Overall, I'll give the Tactical Scorpion budget body armor two big thumbs up. It held up way better than I expected, especially for a $29 budget plate, cost-friendly plate. If you guys could, do me two favors. One, click that like button, really helps us out on the channel. Two, go ahead and click subscribe. This way you get notified every time we come out with new videos. I'll see you all next time. Peace.